Hey, Phil here with Video School, and I'm so excited because we just launched a brand new course about 3D photorealistic design. This course covers how to use 3ds Max and the V-Ray plugin. It's taught by an amazing instructor, Margarita Nikita, who does this professionally. She has an award-winning company that does 3D renders just like what you can learn in this class. So I wanna show you and walk through sort of the back end of the class so that if you are interested in learning this skill, uh, you can check out the class and uh, it's, a, it's a really good one. So I'm putting it together right now, uh, but it's almost done and uh, yeah, so let's go into it. As always, it's on Udemy and you can get it at a great discount through the link in the description and going through that link really helps the instructors out. So you're gonna get project files, you're gonna get, uh, if you don't have 3ds Max or V-Ray, you can get a 30 day free trial. So it is an expensive program to use um, and to purchase. And so I know a lot of you who are watching this video might want to learn this skill, but don't have the funds to actually purchase the, the, the program. So there is a free 30 day uh, trial, which we link to so you can get easy access there. As soon as you, enroll, we jump right into just a basic overview of 3ds Max. The goal is that if you know a little bit about 3ds Max, then you can jump right into what this course is really about, which is the 3D photorealistic design, specifically interior design. And so 3ds Max, you can do a ton of stuff with this application. And just part of it is using the V-Ray plugin or extension to do this more photorealistic design. And so with this class, you're learning how to do the interior design. And then with those skills, you can do all kinds of other things. So if you are brand new to 3ds Max, there is a section that is later on in the class, uh, which covers the basics of using 3ds Max. So if you don't know how to use it, then this is a great section for you. If you already know a little bit, or if you just want to jump right into using V-Ray, uh, we have a section on getting that set up. What you do is you sit, you add uh, your, your camera element, you, you can compose your shot, change focus, all that kind of thing uh, within the application. You can then add lights. We cover how to add different types of lights from natural lighting, sunlight coming through windows and things like that. And I'll just play through some of these lessons so you can kind of get a sense of what is in here. So you can see how the lighting in this, this project comes and all the project files are available to you. And so uh, this is the project you're going to be working on. Here's the interface. You can see how Margarita is changing the lights here. And then artificial lighting. So all these individual lighting elements that are added to the design from the sconces on the wall to uh, different lights actually set up in the, the shot, you, you can actually add uh, lights and make it look like a real light. Um, after that, it's all about applying materials. So materials is basically the texture of all of these designs. So this class is not a modeling class. So you're not actually building out separate elements. What you're doing is taking an element and adding the, these materials or textures to them. So she covers everything from fabric and wood to ceramic, stone, glass, and metal. All of these things are, are different textures that you add. Uh, metal, I said, she covers where to find these textures, how to download them, how to light them properly so that it looks real. And it's pretty amazing. When you look at these photos that she, she does and she teaches, it, I, wouldn't know whether it's a real photo or not after looking at it for, for a quick glance. Another thing that you use, or one of the main reasons why this skill is beneficial is for things like architecture or real estate, 
where interior design where you want to give someone a preview of what something might look like. And so you can actually turn your project into an entire 360 degree photo and a virtual tour. So you've probably been, maybe you've been on a site like Zillow before where there's actual real virtual tours with photos of, uh, of a house. This is basically the same thing, but within your own design. So you can create these virtual tours. I'm trying to get to the part where she shows off the, uh, the 360. Okay, here, a 360 degree photo, which is pretty cool. Margarita has worked with amazing people uh, designing projects for everyone from Robert Downey Jr. to the Obamas, Jessica Alba, so many people uh, she's, she's actually created these designs for with her, with her company. And then another uh, good section of this course is how to land a job with this skill. So as someone who runs her own company that does this, she has great insight into how to find work from the different platforms to use to putting your work out there, what kind of work you want to be putting out to land a job. And so she covers it all. Um, it's a really great sort of com comprehensive course, but it's a perfect for beginners just jumping into this. This is a tool and an application that does so much, but th and this is just sort of a small part of it. Um, but at the same time, this small part is, is a great skill to have and uh, something I think is really interesting. So if you're interested in this class, please check it out. There's always a free preview. If you click on the link to check it out on Udemy, you can check out the entire uh, course structure. Again, you get all the project files, downloads. You can get a free trial to the applications so that you can take the class and learn. And then, uh, of course, instructor support, too. If you have questions, uh, we'll be there to answer them. All right. Thank you so much for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed the class if you enroll. And we'll see you in another video. Have a beautiful day.